All right. Hey everyone, so now that you've finished your phase one rehab for the hamstring strain, we're gonna go over phase two today. So it's gonna be a little bit more progressive. We're gonna start adding some weight. We're gonna start adding some bands and more functional movements. So the first one we're gonna demonstrate is called a diver. So you're gonna either grab a dumbbell or a kettlebell. We're gonna do single leg to make it a little bit more difficult. So she's gonna stand on one leg and then we're gonna bend forward, bringing the kettlebell down towards your foot. And then she's gonna hinge back up at her hips, trying to use glute and hamstring to pull herself back up. So to isolate the hamstring, we're gonna have her knee a little bit straighter if you're going for more glutes, you're gonna have the knee a little bit more bent. So obviously we're targeting more of the hamstring, so keep your knee a little bit straight, but not fully locked out. And you're gonna go down, keeping that kettlebell close to your leg. Work at that stability. She's oof, taking a lot of balance with there. Hard on the ankles. Yes, very <laughs> good. All right, the next one, you're gonna hook a band up um, to the bottom of a pole or whatever you, <laughs> I don't know what else you're going to say. Uh, something that you have, you can attach your band to and you're going to lay on your stomach. We're going to do this a little bit more eccentrically to still work on hamstring control. So she's going to pull it towards her butt a little bit further. Good. And then slowly release it back. Good. And then pull. She's going to feel a little bit of a cramp because we're working on it really good, and then slowly release, good. Pull, slowly release, perfect. And you should feel that right in that hammy. You'll do about three sets of 10 of each of those, and obviously you can do bilaterally, even though we're targeting the one that you've injured, you wanna keep it even. So, we have more to demonstrate now. All right, so in your first phase for getting the hamstring back from a strain, we talked about doing some isometrics in this position. So today we are gonna turn that isometric into a bridge. So same position, so you're gonna have your heels elevated on a box here. This is gonna really help to isolate and really feel that hamstring burn. Heels are on the box, and then Courtney's gonna push through her heels. She's gonna bring her hips up so her body is nice and flat and then lower back down. Good, and again, you're gonna push up and lower back down. Good, so as you're doing these, you should really feel this in the mid belly of those hamstrings, and you're gonna feel it a little bit in the hamstring if you've had a strain. If this bumps your pain up maybe one to two points on a one to 10 pain scale, that's okay. Any more than that, and it's probably too advanced for you. What so if I'm cramping all over the place? If you're cramping all over the place, make sure you're hydrated ah! first, and then you wanna make sure that your hamstrings aren't too tight, and then maybe you try this one again. All right, so we are gonna do some banded pull-throughs next. I'll give you some room here. So with the banded pull-throughs, you are gonna bring that band between your legs, and a very common mistake on this one, I'm gonna move over this way, is people squat. So if you're doing a squat pattern and then picking it back up, you are not working the hamstrings the way that these are intended. So instead of squatting down and pulling up, you're gonna hinge backwards at the hip. You're gonna feel that band get nice and loose. And then as you pull through, you use your hamstrings and your glutes to bring your hips forward. You're gonna feel that contraction and that's what is gonna get your hips forward is, are those hip extensor muscles. Good. So you're gonna lean forward, you will have a slight bend in the knees, and then you're gonna squeeze hamstrings and glutes to lift you up. Perfect. So the more resistance that you have on the band, the harder that these pull-throughs are gonna be. Another option that you have here is if you don't have a band like this and you go to a gym often, you can do this with the cable machine. You grab a rope and you do the same thing. You just pull through and pull the rope apart. So they look a little bit silly when you do them at the gym, but they're awesome. So I would do them anyways. Don't think about it. <laughs> yes. So those are four awesome exercises to start really strengthening the hamstrings. Um, we do have some advanced hamstring moves that we are going to make another video about. So get excited for that. But these exercises are a great next step after you have completed your first phase of rehab for a hamstring strain. Progress to these, see how they feel, and then let us know if you have any questions.
Ouch.